Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome to School Stone. My name is Dr. Fish, and we are in for a very exciting episode of School Stone, Saturday School Stone. We've got a classic match um, in the Octathlon tournament, and alongside me today are two of the OGs of THL. We have Slimpsh. Hello, Slimpsh. Hi everyone. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for an epic classic showdown here in what is this? The, the This is the uh, or semis. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is the semifinals. And alongside Slimsh we have T TH Lemur. Hello and how are you doing? Hello, hello. You guys know I'm so excited to come in class, cast some Hearthstone classic action, especially with Slimsh by my side. It's like the old days. I'm pumped. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm so glad that Lemur brings the, the hot fire, the hot energy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. The, the super hot fire. Gotta, gotta offset the dulcet tones that Slimsh deals out. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> All right. So let's go through this matchup that we have today. We have Corridan versus Markshire. This is semifinals match. The winner of this goes on to face C Mac in the finals. And the um, person who loses goes on to face German Shep in the third place match. Um, so we have Corridan of uh, Chaoctagon. Um, who has brought uh, Druid, Hunter, Rogue, Warlock against Mark Shire from F2L Azure, F2L Azure who has brought Druid, Hunter, Mage, and Rogue. And these two have gotten a chance to look at the classes, and so I'll let you guys kind of break down uh, the decks and your thoughts on them while we wait for the players to ban. Yeah, I can offer a few thoughts, so... Mark Shire's Druid between the two is much slower. Corridan's is quite interesting, featuring some Stranglethorns and more aggressive stuff like Violet Teachers. All both with the combo, of course, but Mark Shire has some of those higher cost things. Karen Bloodhoof, Black Knight, Ragnaros. Mark Shire also has Freeze Mage. Both face Tunners, Handlock over on Corridan's side. Both have Miracle Rogues, slightly different from one another. So it could be tough for Mark Shire. Anything's doable though, but just have to see. I don't know what I don't know what they ban though. Mm -hmm. I will yeah, get the bans. I, I think it's gonna be super, super interesting. Like you see, like you mentioned on Corden's side, we have a little bit of a faster druid, which really invalidates um, the bring of like the black knight in uh, Mark Shire's list. That's gonna be a pretty dead card if it ends up being a mirror matchup. And it's gonna be very interesting to see if the faster, more aggressive strategy from Corden can kind of outlast uh, Mark Shire, or rather kill Mark Shire before Mark Shire can outlast it with decks like Freeze Mage and the more defensive druid. Yep. 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 Also important to note that in Mark Shire's Freeze Mage, he is playing uh, Archmage Antonitis as well as a copy of Pyroblast. Um, so he mm -hmm. is playing the the top end of this deck that you normally see uh, to give you a little bit more hope against Control Warrior or uh, a little bit more of an edge in those more um, long controlling kind of matchups. But here, it's not going to do him uh, any favors uh, except maybe into the handlock if he can uh, land that matchup. All right, I have the bans. If you guys want to take a guess at the classes that have been banned, Rogue. Uh, who bans? Who do you think the, well, the Rogue ban? Well, I refreshed out of morbid curiosity, so I've uh, well, some I'm spoiled actually. Yeah. <laughs> so makes sense. Yeah, the the bans make sense. I'll just go ahead. We have Corden's Hunter is banned, and Mark Sire's Druid is banned. I'm not surprised that Markshire banned Corden's Hunter, but banning Markshire's Druid seems I, I'm very surprised by the ban for um, Corden to ban Markshire's Druid. Like we were saying, I think that yeah. Markshire's Druid was going to be in a pretty rough spot in this in this match. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I kind of would have liked to see a, a Hunter ban on that side as well, or a Miracle Rogue yeah. ban. Yeah. Yeah, probably Hunter. Yeah, that would have made... You wanna you wanna make sure your handlock 
gets a win can be rough for Rogue too. Yeah, big agree. All right, the Mark players. Hunter, well, they it does just have the one. Yeah. Hunter's Mark and no owls actually, but uh, it's also or, important well, to note that owl, Markshire's version of Face Hunter is running the uh, knife jugglers, which is something that you, you didn't really see in Classic. That happened after Nax Ramus with the introduction of Haunted Creeper and Nerubian Egg. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how uh, Markshire navigates this with knife jugglers instead of the more like aggressive, complete burst uh, that comes from yeah uh, some of the different Face Hunter decks. I believe the juggler could come come in handy. Corden's got the double violet teacher in the druid. So if those if those apprentices aren't getting buffed by power of the wild for whatever reason on the turn that violet teacher is going off, then mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's good. I'm hmm. trying to figure out what he cut for it for the for the jugglers, and I can't. Well, I was comparing out. the two in Corden's band, but it has the double misdirection. Mark yeah. Shires has no. yes. All right. I'm going to send the players off on their match. Um, for those watching, uh, we will have uh, Mark Shire on the bottom and Corden on the top. So Mark Shire first to spectate, Corden will be second. Uh, and you guys can ca uh, can spectate in whichever order you, you would like to spectate. All right. I'll spectate Corden first so that there's wow. less bias. Sounds good. <laughs> right, See, just... back when we used to have to spectate uh, four okay. THL streams, we had to spectate each individual player because there was no no uh, button to show hands. Oh man! All right, they are in. Yep. I'm getting that all pulled up. Corridan with Druid, Markshire with Freeze Mage. Cool. It's a pretty good hand. Both of these players are not true classic players using portraits that were not around. Oh gosh, misplay. Yeah. Complete it's... misplay. Hate to see it, but we'll move on. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Freeze Mage versus this more aggressive Drew is going to be a very interesting matchup. It's going to depend on if this Freeze Mage can really uh, develop what it wants in its hand uh, early on into the matchup uh, and avoid getting comboed. Uh, hopefully, can establish a yeah. nice block before that turn. Agreed. Okay. Wasn't sure if Mark Shire kept all those cards. He did pitch away the mirror image. It'd be kind of nice, but yeah, if you're looking for other stuff. This is good. Yeah, double loot hoarder acolyte of pain is pretty much all the draw that Mark Shire needs to be able to start cycling through his deck. Yeah. Yep, and Corridan. That innervates pretty nice. Really, I'm, I could totally see a world where you just get that strangle thorn out asap mm -hmm. for sure it's hard for the mage to deal with it um mm -hmm. without wasting resources that you'd like to be able to aim at their face yeah first stream sorry for taking a little bit to get uh to get everything situated but we will be getting into it now With the Violet Teacher pickup, it definitely makes sense to hold this Innervate coin. Oh, did my... Trying to, to develop a large board. Did my game freeze? I think my game froze. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Refresh that spectate. No. So Markshire can either go with Acolyte or just getting the Arcane Intellect in there. Yeah, I think I like the Acolyte, especially seeing one Wrath through. Yeah, seeing that first Wrath really uh, informs this play to play out the Acolyte of Pain. Uh, mm -hmm. It looks like we're going to coin the Violet Teacher and then maybe innervate the Wrath to deal with it. Uh, mm -hmm. and it's not going to look good on the side of Markshire to uh, get double Wrathed in subsequent turns. Yeah. Yep, this is good. Keep Keeper of the Grove for, for Doomsayer. Now at any point, if these aren't frozen, mm -hmm. they're threatening a good amount of damage. Is Markshire... Oh, the Fireball pickup could just deal with this Freeze Mate the teacher now if you'd like we already have 10 damage in hand from the frostball at double ice lance uh so if we can survive to the alex turn that'd be great so we can fireball the teacher down here yeah. or the alternate line of play uh is either just ice barriering or intellecting but then you're opening yourself up to a lot of damage this is being very tricky for me i apologize so my my, my kill casters the casters are doing a great job keeping this going we will decide to fireball down that Violet Teacher, which I think is the correct decision. Yep. Yep, yep. It's worked out 
worked out the best with the way the mana was going um but little... we just play another just play another and there's no power of the wild but mark sherry doesn't know that he'll be a little afraid but if, if you can uh... i think the only line here is playing this in a yeah, yeah, because either if... intellect or barrier, but I like the intellect because you dig for. I'm guessing Mark Shire was thinking about these Novas, maybe Blizzard coming up on six mana. Would be yeah, nice. just something to to ensure that you're not going to get Savage Roared uh, from a big board state that's probably coming out next turn from Corridan. Yep. And then the loot hoarder seems fine. It's not like you need to spend time pinging down the. Apprentices. It looks like we're gonna snap play the wild growth. I do not like this. Yeah. Because if we're playing the wild growth here, right, we're we're developing. We're just gonna hero power. We're developing another one one, but that doesn't really do anything against freeze mage going into turn six, when you know that they're probably going to have a blizzard or someone. Oh, look at that. It's a little slow. Whereas we could have just uh, established this stranglethorn tiger or this azure drake. Yeah, I would have liked it. Would have liked one of those. Either one. Stranglethorn's nicer to hold on to, because if it does get softened up by Blizzard, it goes down to Flamestrike. Although Markshire is the one. Only the one Flamestrike. This list. I think we're... So we're... I'm not sure. Is this is this showing? The stream? No, I'm having a lot of technical difficulties. Alright. Well, there, there's a Violet Teacher and three apprentices on Corden's board. Yeah. Markshire's got Blizzard in hand. Nova. I mean, Nova, you would consider more if you had Doomsayer, but. Honestly, I kind of like Nova in here. Yeah, sure. With Novice Engineer, just get more options. It's. Oh, we're just going to play the Barrier instead. This is kind of risky. It's okay. It's not like you're dead. I'd, I'd just be scared of Force Innervate Savage. That would be very scary. 19 cards left, 1 Innervate used. I guess Mark Shire, it's okay to play a little... A little risky. Yeah. We, I like saving the Blizzard in that spot, because you always can bait your opponent into a bigger board state. It's not like you're in pressure of dying immediately if you Frost Nova that turn. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think he... Because even Flame Strike here does not clear the Violet Teacher. All right. Ooh, so now every now everything's on screen. Apologies for missing half for missing half the match, but uh, these things happen. Spectator client the the client for spectating was absolutely terrible for me. <clears throat> That's big. Now we can see everything. I think probably really good for Mark Shire here to just maybe Doomsayer Nova ping the teacher. And... I love that line, yeah. Set yourself up for Flame Strike if for some reason they have an answer to the uh, Doomsayer, which we know Corridan does in the form of Keeper of the Grove. Kind of lets your opponent know that you're thinking about Flame Strike, but I mean, we're all thinking about Flame Strike. It's important. Yeah. And he saw And he saw the exact line. Just an intellect and a, a novice in there. Mm -hmm. So these card managing the cards in hand right now is pretty important. Something clunky like an Antonidas or Alex shows up, and no block. Honestly, this isn't the worst spot to have no block in though, because you know. Yeah. That uh, this flame strike clears the board unless they play something like Ancient of Lore, but in that case, they're not playing Keeper of the Grove, so you just clear the board anyway. So I, I think we're pretty safe, especially with the second uh, Ice Barrier in hand, and we're racking up a lot of damage. Yeah, that's a juicy, juicy flame strike. It's not getting better. Yeah. to see the Ancient of Lore come down on the side of Corridan makes perfect sense. Get the two draws in, uh, and then probably a hero power hit, yeah. Yep, so now Markshire gets a little chance to breathe, although 
that innervate did show up that you mentioned. So there's a there's a lot more burst than just the combo alone. Now you've got the double roar combo, which Mark Shire probably wouldn't. wouldn't He'll play, play around to the best of his ability, but. Barrier is really good here. I think we also threw it out in the mirror image. Sure. Fine. He might want to save it for the Antonitis. That might be a thought process that runs through his head. But I think, yeah, I think we just play it to absorb the five. It would be awesome to save for Antonitis. Even Antonitis, Antonitis Nova would be good at some point. Yeah, Mark Shire's needing something. Alex Straza would be nice. I don't know if I like Keeper nice here. Yeah, Wild Growth is um. Hmm. Playing sure Keeper of the Grove here seems very weird to me when you know that the Freeze Mage has that second Doomsayer, uh, and they've only played one Nova and no Blizzards. Yeah. Could be left in a sticky spot against another Doomsayer where you might have to. There's a block. Combo. That's a big. Like pickup. conversely, there we could have we could have played the Strangle Thorn and played more on Curve. Yep. Uh, or just played the Double Harvest Golem. Yep. Just bigger board. That's honestly Double Harvest Golem is really appealing to me because that threatens a lot of damage with Force Intervate Double Roar. Yeah, it's going to be a pain to clean those up with Blizzard. All right, that ice blocks very welcome. Mark shares at thirty. Haven't crunched the numbers on this big combo, but I'm pretty sure Corden can pop. It'd the question is, what amount of health are you leaving them at? Fifteen, seventeen on board without the treants, so it should pop the block. Yeah, it'll pop block. Yeah, and these are. These are, this is, if you Six, do the 12, double 18, roar, it's 18 so damage coming from the tree. It's 9 from... How all into uh, the 35 plus this? 2, it's 37, because the, the face gets 4. Yeah. So instead, we are going to not pop it. Yeah, I think the pop would have left Markshire. It's something slightly awkward. I think it was going to be 3 health, which is a little... Weird, but not popping the stranger. Yeah, I feel like if you don't pop the block in this scenario, right, you're just you're accepting the fact that the freeze mage is going to do what it does and freeze your board. Mm -hmm. well, that swipe pickup is huge. Oh, that would have just been game. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame <laughs> there's. No Azure Drake. No Azure, no. Yeah, no Azure Drake. So. To clear through the two minions. Markshire is just going to live. At one. Another day. Mm hmm. Get a Harvest Golem out. Yeah, the Harvest Golem's getting out earlier would have been cool, but. Yeah, yeah I'm not entirely not sure I agree with that hero power either to clear the, the a one taunt. It's not like you're you're in a rough spot here. You can always play double harvest yeah. and you'll be able to clear it anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause if you're expecting a freeze here, which we, we know that Markshire does have in his hand, obviously that's cast revision, but However, Markshire's not finding Alex. Yeah, he's not and finding he really... the way to get lethal. He really needs to not get popped, and thankfully he won't. This turn he cannot get popped, yeah. Because the last thing he wanted was block. a must-need Ice Block draw or Arcane Intellect. Marsha really needs, block like... might be a game-losing play on Corden's side, potentially. It, it depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I think you gotta get a strength... Marsh. You gotta get a Tiger out, right, here? Just a threat? Just to put a th Well, no, you can't. Fine. You can't now because of Doomsayer, but next turn... <laughs> I guess it'd have to be next turn, because now there's just going to be two two ones on board. So this is a popped block on the side of Markshire. Always popped. Yes. In which case he needs... I... I don't think there's really a path anymore. 
He could freeze the druid's face to avoid being popped. Yeah, he, ha he yeah, has to. Yeah, he is. And I think that's correct. I think that's yeah. a good play. This is a correct play, to. yeah. It would only ever be the other swipe that gets... And if we I... Alex, do we Alex our own face at this point? This druid doesn't even have Leroy. Of, um, accordance here. Okay, well, really good for Mark Shire that he's not popped. He's used a lot of... Really good that he innervated there, because he could have gone Sunwalker, innervate Sunwalker. That is crazy. Good Alex draw. Uh, no, that innervate fish was for the armor. Oh, Just okay. Just Alex came down. Also, so the next of turn, was the game. Yeah. Mark Shire's got okay draws. He's got Fireball mm -hmm. for the kill. Uh, it's oh, not no, the kill not anymore, the though, with the Ancient of Lore. Yeah, Ancient of Lore heal should seal this game up. Yeah, it really should. Yeah. Uh, there is Pyroblast, but there's never going to be time unless maybe... Draw block like, this This is turn? Ice Block. Oh, mm -hmm. he drew the Fireball! Oh, that Ancient of Lore was huge! So sad. Yeah, yeah. it's the second Ancient of Lore. But they've, they've drawn a lot at this point. How much damage is that? 3, is, 4, 10, uh, 16? 17. 17. 17. So 5 off is literally the Ancient of Lore healing won the game. It's actually 18 with Hero Power too. So yeah, yeah. Ancient of Lore did win the he'll, game. He'll, he'll probably just play it out and, and uh, have to end up conceding. I mean, he he could he could drag this out a little bit more and stave off the next swipe because yeah, you can, you can Frostbolt the face Ice Lance the 5-5. Five five. And just uh yeah, well, actually, nice this, is a, this is a this, play for, this this is a play for, for what? Blast. Um, Pyroblast? Pyroblast yeah. lethal. Yeah. So, Pyroblast will be... Yeah. Win. Please. Really heads up play from Mark Shire. To really win. got the swipe, the, swipe the, swipe top top, the swipe top deck. Yeah, well, kudos to Mark Shire for leaving and out. That was it. There would have been a 1 in 5 for it. That mm -hmm. was very solid freeze mage play. Yes. Yep. But that doesn't matter. The win went over to Corridan on his druid. Yeah. We thought that the uh, not popping the block that turn was going to cost him the game, but it did not. So hats off to him. Yeah, hats off. Druid gets through. It is now 1-0 for Corridan. So we get into the next game. Could be Rogue. Could be... We're going to see the hand. Show's just jamming the mage. Gonna see the hand lock from Corridan. Which, if Mage is going to be anything, it could be this, pending any unfortunate mountain giants that will get out quick. That would be. Luckily, we do have the Doomsayer already in hand, so yep. the the giants should be okay. But there's always a chance it just runs away with the game. Mm -hmm. Two owls, so. Yeah, we'll just see what Corden runs into. Going to be tap, tap, tap in, and Mark Shire would like to be cycling as well, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, there's Antonidas. This is not quite what Mark Shire wants. But, no, you know. there's the Pyro. That's a heavy hand. <laughs> Intensely heavy. Luckily yeah, that... for Mark Shire, this is a matchup you could get away with drawing like that in. Yeah, yeah. It is interesting that Corridan has the has the Alex in here. Yeah, the Alex for the Leroy power overwhelming combo. A glorious golden Alex. Corridan just gonna tap tap tap. Why is the big game hunter instead of the Earthen Ring? Very interesting. Uh, makes a lot of sense uh, in like a matchup like this where you just try to apply pressure, uh, but you still do have to deal with the Alex when it comes down. That's still something that has I've to always happen. just tried to tap for the extra two draws toward Mountain Giant, which is really the winning yep. way. But I mean, this big game hunter will probably do a decent amount of damage. It's not like uh, it'll probably do four because it'll just get pinged down over two turns, most likely. Yeah. Uh, but we're, we're gonna go with the Acolyte of Pain instead and yeah, Mark Shard. Desperately needs to and draw. And is punished for not doing the tap uh, line last turn. Okay. I think he 
happen. Another hero portrait that is completely not unacceptable. Yeah, where's my Gul'dan and my normal Jaina? Yeah, it's good to hit this acolyte. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why Markshire played it was yeah. to, to bait in the hit, so you just be able to ping it down next turn and drawing this novice engineer is perfect. Doesn't for that. need to draw two because this hand's so clunky anyway. There is a world where Markshire feels uh, that he must play Doomsayer, but I think that would have happened if we got the double tap, and we did not end up seeing that. So uh, I, I don't think the Giant's on his mind currently. Yep. Yep. I would imagine Markshire is just going to play that novice and ping down the BGH. So yeah, no secrets have shown up, no Nova to go along with the Doomsayer, so I think the Novice is All pretty right. good. He is anticipating the Giant. Oh wow, okay. So he is going to play the Doomsayer, which is the, the line I was pointing to, just to stall out a turn. Uh, you can't play the Giant into this, obviously, you can't play anything into it, so it's just going to be uh, a pass. You could, you could tab just to be digging down and just offer a sacrificial yeah, land, but you also have to be mindful of your anger. health a little bit. Because if Alex draws, it's not going to be playable at some point. Mark is always, if he gets enough burn, he can always just start chucking them. Especially if the Pyroblast is lining up. We Let just go. get the regular pass, yeah. And had find the ice block on the shot of Markshire, so we're probably novice engineering ice block this turn. Yeah, really good. Oh, nice. Picks up really, more really burn. Good. Yeah, at this point, this you, might, you might just chuck it at his face at some point soon. Uh, he does see, though, that Corden is playing the Alex Straza, so he wants to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are going to see a taunted up mountain giant very likely here. Uh, I don't think we need to taunt it. Uh, That's not really a reason. Oh, we're, we're going to I guess we're going to taunt it. I might have played the Ancient Watcher instead. Well, we're trying to apply as much pressure as possible, right? Yeah. Uh, this is this is good pressure. I also would have played the Ancient Watcher because we had the Iron Beak Owl. To yes, up. exactly. And a Doomsayer's down, so you could you could get that Ancient Watcher online if you wanted. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. But okay. that's okay. This still this still presents ten damage, which is quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm interested when Markshire is going to bite the bullet and start throwing burn with the Antonidas in hand. Uh, obviously, Coin is getting saved for that Antonidas. Uh, so I might like a loot hoarder and then just fireball the face. But it looks like we're going to hoarder ping instead, which is very interesting. Oh, okay. He pings it to guarantee He's the cycling. Mine's the blizzard. He's and he's got to eat ten, but. Um, with the block, it's not super bad, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. It's really good. Good news for Markshire that there's no, no second mountain giant, no faceless manipulator. It's really like this hurts, but it could be way worse. Yeah. Now the Alex, if Alex Accordion was to play Alex, it wouldn't be as big. It would only drop him by three health at this point. Although he is. This is very uh, close. going to save the Alex to Alex himself back up. Very likely. Yeah, it should, it should be yeah. defensive. Yeah. So this seems like a blizzard, unless Mark Shire's got some plan of big burn, which there's no ice lances, so I doubt it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blizzard seems solid. And Corden can silence this mountain giant. Yep. It would go back down to eight power. Go to eight power to hit for looks like that hit is hit for be twelve, player. and then you could pop with power Hellfire overwhelming. And... Power overwhelming soul fire is a pop, right? Yeah, you could. We're gonna see him play again to not pop this block, though. Oh. Yeah, the weird thing is that even if you popped. 
Well, there. I mean, the board. You have the Hellfire there. in hand, so you you have a lethal setup. You would you would force a coin defense of Alex from Markshire. Oh, I thought the Hellfire was part was needed for the pop last turn. Okay. It it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. So you could. Uh, oh yeah, that would be huge. Yeah. Okay. Well. Markshire has no freezes unless he's looking to arcane intellect for a nova here. You'd have to coin first to not overdraw. Yeah, could. He can't go for a burn. Well, if he wants to not respect the Alex, he can begin to go for a burn plan. Could even coin the Alex himself, but then he wouldn't be able to kill. Do fifteen is ten mana. Yeah. With no ice lance. With no ice lance, exactly. Yeah. We this... are going to see the point, Alex. Okay, well, he's going to go for this and then. Siphon. Okay, Siphon big heal. Pop big block. Heal. Siphon this Earth. Is and this, is this, is huge. this is just This is just so much. This is big trouble. You can pop. I'm, I, it doesn't matter where you, what you pop at. Now Markshire has to dig. I don't even know what Markshire's plan was after this. Probably just digging with intellect for he's whatever. Got, he's got an he intellect needs. for another block. Yeah, he needs. He actually just needs block because Hellfire just goes I over he everything. Wants to, he wants to find block and then squeeze out. Um, that ain't it. That, that ain't it, Chief. Uh, the other intellect would draw one. <laughs> you gotta do it. He knows it, though, he's right? dead to Hellfire, Hellfire or Soulfire. Or Leroy. Gotta take the risk. Yeah. But, e but even then, it's just you just delay another turn. I mean, we have caster vision. Yeah, there's no winning. There's no plan to win unless you're also squeezing in burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a rough, rough series for the Freeze Mage so far. Yeah. There is no other line to stay alive than Intellect into Block, so we are stalling out the clock into a yeah. concede. Okay, so now it's down to Corden's road to get through, which I think if the... The mage can be fine against this, but it really just depends on what the rogue is doing. It could be big. There was Edwin. Yeah, Edwin's big trouble. Uh, the rogue eventually finds good ways to pop the block. So you've got the inevitability of the Leroy combo. Hey, Fish, do you want to uh, ban that person in chat? Yeah. I don't know if I can, though. <laughs> You're the broadcaster. You should be able to. Okay. There you go. Oh, no problem. God, I'm huge. Yeah, it, well, I, I don't have... My, my moderation tools aren't showing on the screen. So, we've got the Markshire Face Hunter coming out into the Miracle Rope. This is the matchup the Face Hunter wants to see the majority of the time. Big Lepernome. And of course, Dagger takes it out, but it's not like you really want to coin that out. This Lepernome is going to do a lot, though. Mm -hmm. If not, yeah. Oh, Thalnos. Yeah, coining out the Thalnos to threaten the Leper Nome. I, I actually kind of like this. Uh, you're taking one less, two less face damage this way. Yeah, I guess in the in the Hunter list, there's nothing that directly deals with this Thalnos. But it's okay, we don't care. And Timberwolf's just going to get out there as a dude. It's just, <laughs> Icky. just a one-one beast. If it works, it works. Mm -hmm. We have yep. to see the style of those trading to the Leopard Yeah, then we're gonna see um, probably. Would have been so nice if a prep showed up. 
That's okay. Interesting to kill the Timberwolf first instead of the abusive sergeant. Yeah, I guess fearing. There's no, upper. there's no like scare. You're not scared of unleash the hounds this turn. There's no, no taunt no. card to get in your way. So I think that that's just a strict misplay. I yeah. I agree. Uh, Buzzard unleash and wow, that's two good cards. We're gonna take the weapon because the weapon is good. Yep, a weapon yep. great, especially with explosive trap in your hand. Yes. Mm hmm. This arcing golem will very likely not be played for a long time. Because you do not want to ramp a Miracle Rogue. This fan is fine. There could be a lot of one health things on the board, but I think you kind of have to draw into ways to actually win. Yeah, you have to draw ways to win, and you have to make sure you take as little damage as possible. Oh yeah, yeah. Ready? But we're gonna take that too. And take the trade. Maybe, yes. maybe we're gonna go hero. Maybe we're gonna go dagger up deadly poison. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I think the fan would have been. I think the fan might have been better just because it's cycle and you get rid of the minion without taking face damage. So this yeah. turn we really want a hero power, but we might just establish the bow instead. Mm hmm. Because playing explosive trap here is bad. Um, assuming that Corridan will hit in the face with with the weapon, which might not happen. Um. Hero power. I, was probably... I would definitely swing if I was corded and I saw oh, a, a weapon without a minion on board. No, no I, I actually like this for Marshire if he's going to end up going with it, if he's going to play the explosive trap into the hero power, because you're you're saying that that rogue has to hit you in the face with a weapon, and that's burning a charge on a weapon um, that could be going into a minion that you're playing. That's, so I, it's, that's it's true. Close. That's true. I don't think you need three charges off the bow either, honestly. No. no. Like, a three-man to fireball is going to be enough. Mm -hmm. I think explosive hero power is okay. Yeah, I actually, I actually prefer that line, just to hit the dance, just to get two into face with the wep with the hero power. Corden's going down quick. Yes. This is hard. This could be a six six Edwin. Yep. Yeah, it could be, but I think we're do don't play the teacher first. With the open lists, you know, one hundred percent that's. That's explosive trap, right? Mark is not playing the misdirections. I would like the ad the Edwin play. Just because you gotta kill them real quick. A 6-6. Six, six yeah, it's not like you have Savage Roar like you did in Druid to like really really make so much pressure out of yeah, these violent teachers. This is such this is now Teacher opens you up to unleash is, even if you were to do it. I mean Mark Shire is just one turn away. No, no farseer means. We've got an auctioneer turn here with backstab. True. But you have to. But he would have to find heal. Yeah, that that was the other thing earlier with that fan of knives. I was thinking about maybe finding farseer. You've got the shadow stuff. Sometimes against face hunter. Yeah, Mark. Kind of yeah, Marshar just wins this. I mean, he could play Leroy. He's just gonna play the Leroy, but you could also go with the arcane yep. golem play here. Yep. 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 And Face Hunter does yeah. what it does best, beats the Miracle Rogue in classic format. Yeah, there was just never never a way to win. Too much damage. Yep. I forgot to update. Markshire's it. on the board. Yep. Two to one. Markshire could feasibly reverse sweep here into this Miracle Rogue. Uh, he would have to win the Miracle Rogue Mirror. Yep. And then use his... Uh... Freeze mage to get past it too. Oh yes, okay. So we have a classic portrait from Markshire. What a great portrait. Yeah. So Corridan's list has double sap. So that makes you think twice about Edwin plays. Sometimes when they've got the one sap, you you go. Might just be a four four. We'll see. Oh. Yeah. C Mac brings up a good point. If there's no sorry emote, there's no point of OG portraits. That is a compelling point. I still think the OG portraits are, are good. This and if we're gonna use a different Valera portrait, the fifty the level fifty uh or the Dauchan Valera is very good. 
I'm admiring it. This is Night Stalker. This is the level 50 Markshire portrait. Kept the, the prep bed. Yeah, Markshire kept the prep to potentially get an Edwin play, but look at Corridan's hands. Uh, oh. He's, he's also thinking about an Edwin play at some point. Oh, wow. We. Okay. Gonna see some traded see. hero powers. Does Mark Shire's list have the one sap? No, also two saps. <laughs> okay, these players are in poking moods. They have no optimism for what's off the top. Yeah, just another poke re dagger, it seems. Mark Shire's got gadget sand and prep, so that is. Really, really good. Yep, he just yep. needs to find. Uh, he could a easily spell prep sap just about anything. That exactly, Rogue plays. he just needs them to play a minion, and he might get it out of this Violet teacher. Yeah, that's that is the Azure Drake going into the hand of Corridan. Yeah, I wonder. Oh. They both have double sap, so they're afraid to really. Really go in on anything. anything you coin out yeah. that teacher, she gets sapped, it feels terrible. Yeah. Mike Could cycle fan. fan, but if you were gonna do that, you shouldn't have poke blast her. And we're just gonna see the teacher. Alright, she's here. And this gives a target for this sap. Uh that that's a pretty good one. Unfortunately for Marshall, um, he does not have a fan in his hand. I think I think you make an Edwin here. Backstab prep sap Edwin? Yeah, but then you're then you have no resources for your gadget sand auctioneer. Yeah, True. That's always the thing with Edwin is if you're if you're devoted. Yeah, if you go into Edwin, then point. you take away from. Which would be fine if maybe you were concealing him, but that's even true. then you'd want that for auction. That's right. You're not concealing, <laughs> so you definitely don't do that this turn. Sappen. Sap poke re dagger. Sap re dagger, and then you gotta think that Corden's just gonna replay the teacher. It's gonna be really nice for Mark Sure. Yeah. Should. I thought last turn maybe you just don't do a whole lot and you just hold for a coin Azure. But. Yeah. Or like you say, go. For, or like you, like you go for like the ban for a, a cycle, but. Um, Mark Sire is really taking his time on this. I really. He's making sure that he's. I like this sap making the plays that he wants to make that are good. Sap, re-dagger, after mm -hmm. a poke, seems pretty good to me. Oh, yeah. And that's an auctioneer. But, yeah, Corridan has much less of a hand right now to support it until a prep shows up. Oh, found the conceal. Oh, that's big. Oh, and another prep. Now you can do the sap as well. Yep. Yeah, Mark Shire is just going to do everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Finds the second conceal. <laughs> the fun's not going to, to end. <laughs> Miracle Rogue doing Miracle Rogue things. Yeah. Mark Shire looking in a very solid position. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a Drake for sure, which yeah is no problem. Mm -hmm. So that's two preps and a backstab down for Mark Shire. Has the other conceal, but you'd you'd really like to get a cold blood. The Drake's kind of a problem because Corden has double flurry, and you kind of worry about your auction. All oh, that backstab's huge. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's massive. Backstab SI. Could even fan, but SI is totally, totally good. Yeah. Uh, you're right. You, you could, could go fan either way. And hope to find, like, cold blood. That'd be great. Oh, true. Yeah. Fan to find, fan to dig. Cause you do, you can poke with your, with your face. You're not in that much danger. Yeah. I mean, Mark Shire's just got, he's got a world of options in front of him, and they're all great. <laughs> I like fan because I think it gives you the chance to accelerate this game a little better. 
You could even find... Leroy? What's this? Oh, it's gonna get concealed. We're concealing it, yeah. I like this against the double flurry list. This is I, I this is very risky play. Oh, spooky. I don't Not to mention that double can... fan's just gonna do it. Especially because you have SI in this lit. Like in your hand in this lit. You can just SI down oh, that yeah. action break and be very safe. This is a this is a balls to the wall play and it might cost him. Oh my god. That was so risky. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Especially because you have Azure Drake on the board still. Yeah, Mark I mean, that, that Azure Drake is worth... I mean, spell damage is no joke in Classic. When that stuff sticks... Oh, it's no joke in Standard. <laughs> big things happen. Well, I, I, and now we don't have our pressure. Like, I, we have yeah, no pressure now, to end the game. Yeah. Yeah, now you don't even... I mean, you can clear this board, but... It's not great. Wait, oh... Okay, yeah, there were 10 cards in here. Size. Oh, gosh. And this game, I mean, you can still win this game. It's just like, it was easy before. Now it's hard. <laughs> we, we made that incredibly hard on ourselves. Like it was now really we have easy to win before. off of Edwin. We have to. And it's not going to happen because our opponent has double sap in their list. Yeah, and both, both the conceals are down. Yeah. So Edwin's always going to be exposed. That's really too bad. It's not like it's over, but now Corridan has the auctioneer. And like Leroy's gone, so you're not Leroy afraid. is all of our damage. Like we, we even drew into the shadow step guys afterward. Yeah. Which feasibly would have just ended the game if we just aimed both those SI's face and then Leroy Shadow Step Leroy. Yeah. Yeah. Arkshire squeezing out all the damage she can with these shadow steps. It's a lot less than with Leroy. Yeah. So this auctioneer, I mean, you can eviscerate the SI, conceal him. Just really good. Yeah. That prep first. I think it was a misclick, to be honest with you. I think Mark yeah, is a better player than that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised. There were a lot of options, but the leaving up the Azure Drake. Now we can. Now yeah, you can even cold blood if you don't. If you weren't gonna plan on on deadly poisoning. I I'm, think yeah. we could seal for sure. I was considering going. Absolutely I thought not. I well, he has Leroy's Shadow Step, so. Yeah, but we always still can seal this, right? Mm, I guess not. Maybe, maybe not. I think it's fine to not if we're gonna Leroy Shadow Step yeah, Leroy sure. and then like have the eviscerate to follow up. I Mark Shire's used two steps. If they're expend, if they're spending damage into Gadget Sand, that's also good. And I think Mark Shire just loses now. I don't, I don't see a way for him to do this damage. Yeah, me neither. Has um does have the Earthen Ring to heal a little, but I mean, yeah, he's gonna need he's gonna need eighteen health. He doesn't know it yet, but that's what he'll need. There isn't is there's no double shadow step at least, but there's yeah, just no way. Three. But but now there's no way to clear out the minion. He's he's yeah, just hoping he's just hoping he was he's just hoping no Leroy shadow step. Yep. Oh well. That was correct. Or no Leroy at all. Blood. Yeah. yeah. To, to be honest with you, kind of a thrown game from Markshire, but these things happen in Hearthstone. Yeah. I, uh, I yeah. Really enjoyed the series. Oh no! Great series. Yep. Yep, yep. It's Corridan taking it. In a okay, three to so one. Be Corridan that goes on. A C Mac. Yep. And then uh and then Markshire is not done yet in the in the tournament. He gets to play the third place match against German Shep. Is Would that where the medals happen for this this thing? Is that how it's gonna go gold? Gold for the win, silver for second, third for... Yeah. Or bronze. Bronze yeah. for third, yeah. Let me message Same. Corridan. Okay, well, yeah, that was, um... Yeah, that was a that was a tough loss, I think. Markshire had the world in front of him there with the gadget sand, and leaving the Drake up was... was the way to lose it, sadly. Yeah, I think it's also very interesting to note that, uh... 
with the with with that decision, like he still had the freeze mage up, and freeze mage into Miracle Rogue isn't like a great matchup, but it's certainly winnable. Like absolutely winnable. Oh yeah. So I think that uh that costing him there is very unfortunate. Yep. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna get Corden in here for an interview. Oh boy. Yep. Hel hello, hello, Corden. Hi. How you feeling? Hi. Hello. Man, I get so nervous with these matches. Like I am like shaking. <laughs> <laughs> feel that. They certainly are nerve wracking. I can, uh, I can attack oh, feel that for sure. Especially when you're up. Like I'm up two zero, and all my brain is thinking is reverse sweep. Reverse sweep. Oh, no. Like, oh no! Brain, stop! <laughs> yeah, yeah. That a uh, pretty well played series from uh from you there. That that last game, um, Markshire made the uh made the choice to not clear out that Azure Drake and make that Leroy play with conceal, and uh, you definitely took advantage. So good, uh, oh. good cognizant rec recognition there to chase that and win it. Yeah, that. Uh... That when he didn't clear the Drake, I was like, "Oh my goodness, I can actually clear a Leroy and and a Gadget." I was like, "You never clear a concealed Leroy and Gadget. This is crazy." Uh, wow. Yeah, so I was super yeah, like, happy. Not usually, in like not barring you had double blade flurry. Like sometimes the Thalnos deadly poison can come together, but yeah, no, that was and being able to draw the two cards while doing it was nuts as soon as he slapped down like as soon as i saw rogue rogue mirror i was like okay it's it's gadget sand or bust like whoever gets it first yeah. is probably gonna win um but yeah i mean i kind of as soon as i saw the leroy and i was lower health i knew his deck didn't have much burst so mm -hmm. i didn't by, by the end of it i felt pretty calm but at the beginning i was definitely very nervous yeah yeah, yeah as, a, as it should have been. That was a, a very, very good play, though. Uh, in, in the second game, they're getting, being able to get out of that uh, that Alex range with the top deck Siphon Soul into the Earthen Ring was just nuts. Yeah, no, I even if I didn't see the top deck there, I mean, being able to kill the Alex was amazing, but um, I was holding those Earthen Rings for, for the turn he Alexed me. Um, I almost thought he had me in the first game when he kind of started going all in and I was sitting there thinking, no way I miscounted. I was like, no way he's got like, cause, cause I healed right after. I was like, I just top deck healing after he, I was like, there's I heal five. There's no way he got me. But uh, yeah, no, he didn't. He just kind of showed his hand, which I mean, he was like three damage off four damage. I can't remember, but yeah, it was close. It was close. Well, it Very was really close. nice. He was setting himself up. He had a one in five to drop pyroblast the next turn. And he was at one. He froze your face. But you were able, you had, you had good chances to draw your swipe as well, so. Yeah, I mean, we kind of left each other, like, everything on the table that match. Yeah. I actually made a huge misplay where I was like, I can pop his block. And my brain totally forgot that I was frozen. Um, but it actually kind of worked out because it gained me one additional armor. I mean, in the end run, it didn't really the matter. You're talking about the interface? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So a question that I had for you real quick. Uh, yeah. In that first game, you had an option to pop his block. At the, the turn before you top deck the first swipe, you had an option to pop his block with uh, Force of Nature, Savage Roar, Innervate, Savage Roar. Uh, why did you not take that option? Yeah, I, that? yeah so I, I, I was counting basically lethal every turn. Like every single one of my turns, I was like, okay, I've got 22 from hand with like Innervate, Double Savage Roar. And I was also thinking like, is there a world where I can actually just fatigue him so his block pops automatically on his turn? So I knew he had a second block. So I was trying to play around a turn where I didn't actually have to pop it and or I could just like control the board. So if I saw Antonitis come down, I could use my second force roar to kill it or something like that. Cause really I figured one of the only ways I was, I was going down was if I just kind of like threw my hand and just kind of like vomited. Um, I was worried also that the second savage roar could have been a way for me to pop a block. If I had to, with my hero power, if I didn't set him to exactly one, um, there was a lot going through my brain in that yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. It just very unfortunate that we ended up top decking the swipe that would have been lethal there. But of course, yeah. hindsight is twenty twenty, so we can't really uh, fault you for that one. That's interesting. There were a couple of moments where if the Antonidas did show up, he was kind of nice with with Frost Nova. Could have been awkward. 
<laughs> yeah, like that was it was terrifying. I, if I saw an Antonitis and then I saw any type of one mana spells, but he was using things pretty aggressively early on. Um, I'm pretty sure he was using his um, what is the mirror images pretty pretty aggressively to stay alive and things like that. So mm-hmm. um, he didn't have a ton of ways to generate, but he could have easily just turned like his ice lances into fireballs, and then I'm just pretty much dead. So mm-hmm. yeah. For sure. Ooh. Well, thank you for coming on. Great yeah. theories. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. You yeah. You... On to grand finals, you uh, go. Yeah. Yeah. On to CMAC. Great. That's such a. <laughs> oh, he, uh, he knocked me exactly out. what he you want to uh, hear. He yeah. was quite. He was quite fearsome. He yeah, some, I. He had some sweet decks. He played them well. I think he and I are. Yeah, his, his our lineups are very very similar. CMAX and mine um other than he brought the warrior and i brought the face hunter so um his his druid's a little bit different but we both brought the handlock and we both brought a miracle rogue so it'll be interesting to see that's uh i mean guaranteed second i'll take it yeah 100 <laughs> percent. Nice. yeah congrats yeah, yeah that's congrats. awesome man one Sweet. more question for you yeah uh, no for sure quick. man uh what is your um so looking at your deck list you you opted to bring double violet teacher list so you, you brought the violet teacher in both the rogue and the druid uh, and had a little bit more of an aggressive druid, but it, it was like a kind of like hybrid aggressive druid where you're you're playing things like the the power of the wild and the violet teacher, uh, but then you're playing Sunwalker as well instead of something like Leroy Argent Squire or, or Argent uh, Commander rather. So, what was your thought process with bringing this specific druid, uh, and do you think that it's panned out over the course of the tournament? Yeah. So the reason I brought the druid this way is because sometimes with with the very lack of removal in classic, if you can just kind of bang down a sunwalker and then maybe even do a stranglethorn, you're guaranteeing yourself a oh, like I don't know another eight to seven to eight damage on a swing turn. Um, they're just really sticky minions. They also just can kind of help. Um, in the early game, if you're against aggro and you get maybe like a, like a wild growth innervate turn and you're able to sneak them out, it can kind of shut down an aggro and, and really just win you a game. Um, Double strangle thorn kind of we saw it on the Alex turn was able to kill Alex and then I was able to like stay alive and push a little more. So um, I've been enjoying it. It's kind of just like a sticky minion druid. I've been calling it just because like. There's a lot of threats in it with Violet Teacher. You have to respect Violet Teacher. Um, you've got to respect everything. So I, uh, I've been enjoying it, to say the least. Awesome, awesome. It's definitely, I would say, like you said, it's definitely a hybrid. It's a weird one that I think people don't expect, so they leave it up quite a bit. And it can sneak in with wins. Um, oh, oh, yeah. I mean, I banned, I banned his Druid because I've been banning Druid all tournament literally every single one of my bands has been druid because i don't want to see it i don't have a good lineup into it and i i just i i probably want to get rid of it i'm probably going to ban c max but warrior scares me too <laughs> warrior yeah, yeah warrior, warrior yeah warrior's a little it's gonna be a tough scary. one warrior's scary into my lineup as well so we'll have to see i mean i'll talk to the team and i'll talk to some people that are definitely smarter than me and we'll see what they say sure <laughs> All yeah, right. warrior could be tough. They can, they can knock out the giants quite a bit. Yeah, they they can deal with a lot of what I'm doing. They can shut down the aggro. They can, you know, armor up to to oblivion. Uh, so it'll be it'll be interesting. I'm just I'm really happy. Uh, GG's to Mark Shire. He had me very scared of a reverse sweep there. Uh, it's a very possible thing. So, um, well played and GG's to him. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Schoolstone. Uh, Slimsh and Lemur, it has been a pleasure. Um, Thanks, Fish. Yeah. I really, really enjoyed myself. That was some, some classic Hearthstone right uh, there. Oh, yeah. I'd uh, like to see more classic portraits, but, you know, it's, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Um, so yeah, um, I also want to thank Corden and Marshire for coming, uh, on and playing their match for us. Um, and I want to, you know, thank everyone who was in chat and, uh, thank you to everybody for watching. Um, 
we will be back at some point with matches. We don't. I don't have any idea what the schedule is for this weekend. Uh, there will be BGs on Sunday night is all I know for sure. So um, if there's nothing else for Sunday School Stone or for uh, Salty Saturday, there will be Saturday, There will be Sunday Night Showdown. And that will be Opt by Saku, Casted by Blue Sombrero, and Steffi. Um, so look forward to that. And, and uh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Sorry, the uh, I, I'm I'm just gonna the duos tournament is oh du- duos yeah, tournament tonight. Is. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Duos so. tournament. There's gonna be a reveal stream in about uh, two and a half hours from now. Yeah, two and a half hours from now. So f- four thirty p- uh, p.m. Eastern time. There will be the reveal show, and then they'll go right into the tournament from there. Um, that's right. Duos tournament. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. I think yeah. there's about thirteen people. It's on Battlefy, so there's still time to get in. Definitely get in if you oh, yeah. can. You, there, there's prizes too. I don't think people realize there's there's prizes if you get first, second, third. So mm-hmm. um, find a friend and jump on in. Yeah, duos tournament. Uh, winners get uh, a, each each player gets a twenty dollar bundle. Um, at um, at second place it's ten, and third I want to say it's probably like four, like something like a seven dollar bundle or something like that. So uh, yeah, come watch that. They'll be casted by some awesome people. Um, all right. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and we will see you later. Yes. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.